Hi, it's Kerr9000. Welcome back to my channel and another one of my geeky purchase videos. So, what have I been getting lately? Well, not as much as sometimes, but let's start. I will start with the DVD. Stephen King's The Mist. Now, I could have gone Blu-ray with this, but the main reason I went DVD is because I fell upon it in a charity shop for £1.50. I'd watched the series of it with my missus and wanted to show her the film. The series is newer, but uh, I'm rather keen on the film, so that's why I got that. Love a good horror. Then, for £6, I got this. I think it's called Blockout. I remember playing it. It's uh, obviously a Japanese Mega Drive game. I love the Japanese games. I just love the art aesthetic to them. And unlike Japanese Super Nintendo games, they seem to like hold worth and be a pain in the butt to get. There's the cart. For those that haven't used one of these, there's weird spines on them. So they don't fit in an English Mega Drive. You have to either play them through a converter or some people filed down the sides of their cartridge slot. Or even more annoyingly, particularly for collectors, some people cut that entire plastic side off. When I see that, it fills me with rage because obviously it's a retro classic butcher to death. But anyway there. Block out 3D or something to that, but very Tetris like. Then I picked up some 3DS games. Three for £15, I'll show you them. Hometown Story, if you've not played that, it's effectively in the Harvest Moon world. As in the original Harvest Moon, which is now Story of Seasons, for those that don't know. But it's in that world, but I think you run a shop instead of being a farmer. You know, cart manual. It's at that point where there are some 3DS games that are crazy money. But you can still get stuff that's okay priced. And so I wanted to get a bit while it is. WWE All-Stars. Now, I've not actually played this on the 3DS at all. But I played the 360 version. And so I was interested in how good or bad this one might be. And also, bunging it in the collection. Here's one I had never seen. Samurai Warrior Chronicles. Now, I've not always been the biggest fan of these style of games, but because I'd not seen it, I thought I would grab it. The last one is a current game. And it's something I've thought about getting for a long time but not got round to. I was going to get it on PlayStation, but Persona 5 Royale. Now, I'll... I don't know when I'm going to play this because I am right on the cusp of finishing Disagear 7. I've got this, but in a few days, Mario RPG comes out and that is on its way to me in the post. If you're watching this, tell me, what would you play next? Persona 5 or Mario RPG? Anyway, that's it for this video. That's the sort of geeky, gamer type and film type stuff I've got recently. If you'd like to watch more, there's plenty more stuff on my channel. Purchase videos, Doctor Who, horror. Yeah, but most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself and each other. Laters, taters. Hi, it's Kerr9000. I'd just like to say thank you for making it to the end of my video. I've got lots of stuff on my channel. My horror house doing horror reviews. My game room where I talk about video games. Sci-fi station. My diet corner videos. All kinds of stuff. I can also be found on the Retro Gamer U forum and the JRK forum, which are both great places full of great people and some great video game conversations. At the end of this video, there'll be a little icon to tick if you want to subscribe, a link to a video, and a link to one of my playlists. I'd also like to recommend the wonderful, talented Just Jessica 1988 on TikTok, who does a lot of diet videos and is my supportive partner. Thank you once again for watching my video, and particularly if you follow me, thank you for all of your support. Have a great rest of your day. Laters, taters.